This is Meteor Crater, and this is the site of an asteroid impact about 50,000 years ago. This crater is important because it is so well preserved and it's accessible. People from around the world can come here and see firsthand the effects of even what a small asteroid can do. When you see it in person, when you stand here, when you look at this, you can feel the power of the effects of this impact. The asteroid that hit here was tiny, only about 20 meters across. So that's just a bit bigger than a school bus. You can see some rocks on their boulders there that are about the size of the boulder that hit here. And look at the area of destruction that this thing caused. The one that struck in Tunguska in Siberia in 1908, much larger. And even that was thousands of times smaller than the one that killed off the dinosaurs. This impact threw out hundreds of millions of tons of rock to form this crater in a fraction of a second. And it threw rock and wind out at supersonic speeds for miles around. When you are on the exit on your way here on Route 40, the winds right there were about 500 kilometers per hour. And not only were there 500 kilometer an hour winds, it was filled with molten rock. You'd have been swept away. Asteroid impacts like this have happened in the past and they will happen in the future. An asteroid of this size actually hits the Earth every couple of decades. Most of those explode in the upper atmosphere and most of those actually are out over the ocean so we never see them. If this was to happen again in the middle of a large city, the consequences would be devastating. If you look at the, the area of destruction around here, look at the height of this crater. That's about the height of the Transamerica building in San Francisco. In fact, the downtown region of San Francisco, the central district would fit neatly inside this crater. So you could see that an area that size would be completely blown away, but it would throw rocks and sand and supersonic winds outwards from there and destroy miles of area surrounding that. It would be total destruction. Not only can this happen again, it will happen again unless we choose to do something about it. Orbiting the sun besides us are millions of asteroids, like the asteroid belt, that's between Mars and Jupiter. In our neighborhood, there's a lot of other asteroids that are whizzing past us. These are the asteroids that cross near Earth and occasionally hit the Earth. We've only surveyed about 1% of the sky. There's about 100 times more than this actually out there. The real solar system looks something more like this. A million asteroids orbiting near our orbit. The B612 Foundation is dedicated to protecting humanity on Earth. And that means finding asteroids before they find us, and then working on the technology to deflect asteroids once we do. This is Sentinel, a space telescope. It's going to scan the skies and find threatening asteroids before they find us. From a vantage point between the Earth and the Sun, Sentinel will have the advantage of being able to look always away from the Sun and see Earth's orbit going to map about a half a million asteroids accurately enough that we will know where each one of those asteroids is going to be for about the next hundred years. If we know where those asteroids are, we will know which ones we're going to hit the Earth and we will know when. And that will give humanity plenty of notice in order to deflect them. Deflecting it is actually not that hard. If you have decades of notice, you only need to change the trajectory of that asteroid a very, very, very tiny amount. So all you have to do is take a small spacecraft and run it into it and change its speed or direction about a millimeter per second, and that will prevent the impact. Another way to deflect an asteroid is to tow it using gravity as a tow line to change its orbit ever so slightly. The point is, we know how to deflect an asteroid using current technology if we know where those asteroids are. B612 Foundation is dedicated to protecting humanity on Earth, and we're gonna do that by finding and tracking threatening asteroids before they find us. We actually can prevent asteroid impacts from happening again on this planet.